Hi, me again. Uh, I thought I'd share something that you may or may not know about. It works on Android phones. It also works on iPhones and iPads and uh, Android tablets as well. Uh, and it's a really great, effective way of typing on your device, whatever that device happens to be. And it's using a tool called Google Gboard. And I don't know if you've ever used Google Gboard. It's available, as I said, both for Android and for iOS. Um, but this free little product um, lets you do some absolutely amazing things. And while um, people are used to typing a certain way and have, have been doing it for many, many years, uh, by simply changing, you get a whole lot of benefits. And uh, let me explain to you what this is all about. So I'll, I'll drive this from my phone so you should be able to see what I'm doing on my screen um, through this recording. So I've already got this installed, so I'm just going to jump across into settings. So once you install it, you've got to go into the settings of your phone and you've got to find um, wherever languages and input is. So different Android phones are in different places. But if you go into languages and input, what you have is the ability to set your keyboard. And in there, I've currently got it set as Gboard, but I can choose keyboards and I can choose a different one. But Gboard is the one that I want to have as my keyboard. If I go into Manage Keyboards, the other thing that I can do with this is uh, adjust a few different settings and things. So for example, if I jump into uh, Settings, I can, oh, I'm looking at Voice, I should jump out of that. Sorry, I'll go into the Settings at the top. Um, what I've got in here is languages and I can choose different languages. So I've, I've added um, a couple, English, UK and German, um, but it could be any language. If you happen to know other languages, it's very handy to be able to switch between them really quickly. And I'll show you how that works a little bit later on. Um, but the other thing that you've got is uh, the ability to offer voice typing here uh, and glide typing. And glide typing is the thing that I've been using exclusively for typing on, on phones for several years now. Um, and I strongly recommend you put some effort into learning how to do it because it's just so much easier than tick, 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 doing this all the time with your thumbs and, and wrecking your, your joints, um, which a lot of people have done by doing that on their phones. So have a play with, um, with those different settings. It's quite amazing um, what this actual product does. So let's have a look at what it does. What I'll do is I'll just jump into um, Microsoft Word, for example. It could be any anything that you can type in. It could be a text. It could be WhatsApp. It could be Facebook. Um, I'm just going to do it in, into a word processor. When I tap on my screen, the keyboard comes up. And this is what Google Gboard looks like. You've got some preferences for what you want it to look like. There's um, a few different ways that you can do things. But um, I could type something like the... And I'm typing normally with my thumbs, as you can see here. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now, I'm fairly quick at typing, but it's not great for your, for your thumbs doing that. Um, what you might have noticed is, as I was typing, um, it's actually showing things across the top here which are words that are similar to what you typed. So maybe I meant to type fix, and uh, I could just simply tap on fix there, and it will change the word fox to fix up the top there. Uh, it'll also give you predictive text, so what uh, you might be thinking of typing next. Uh, so it could be the issue is that. So it's just suggesting sentences for you as you go through. Um, now that's normal typing. You've got those those extra little functions there. But if I jump down a couple of lines, um, I'll show you what what glide typing is, and that's uh, where it's really interesting. You basically just use one finger, and what you do is you hold. You're still doing the letters exactly where those letters are, but what you're doing is you're pr putting your finger down onto the first letter of the word keeping it down, sliding across to where all the other letters are. So you're doing the little shapes in order to produce the words. And then you're letting go when you've done the word. So I can do exactly the same thing. And I'll try and make this so you can see what I'm doing here. But you should also see little lines appearing on the screen. The quick brown fox jumps. Oops, not that. Over the 
lazy dog. Now that's exactly the same thing but it was probably a, a fair bit quicker and I just used that one finger. It takes a little bit of practice but I strongly recommend you start thinking about using um, glide typing when you're um, on your phone and that's done with the, the Google Gboard app. Now I mentioned languages before. Uh, if I jump down here, this little, oops, sorry, let me go back into Word. This little button, when I get my keyboard back up, this button down here, the world, that will switch between the languages that you've set up on your phone. So I could uh, come in here and I could, I'm not sure why it's got that select on, that's better. Um, I could tap on that language thing which I just did. My keyboard's changed around a little bit. You'll notice a Z is up here because Germans have a Quartz keyboard rather than a QWERTY keyboard. Um, but I can say things like Ich bin sehr hungry. And it knows that I'm typing in this language because I've selected that keyboard and uh, it will help me with, um, with making those words appear on the screen. So that's um, that's the Google keyboard. There's uh, a bunch of other settings in there. I'm not going to go into all of them but uh, it's absolutely amazing what you can do. Actually let me show you one more thing. Um, I'll just change back to English and I'll go down to a new line. Here we've got a little microphone and you can just tap on that. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So you can even do typing with your voice straight off the keyboard. So you could be in all sorts of different apps and um, some of them don't allow dictation but uh, with your Gboard you can turn on dictation whenever you like and the accuracy is excellent because it's Google doing the, um, the translation. Hope that was of use. Uh, Google Gboard, you can get it at the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store and it's free. See you later.